Okay, here I am um, trying to explain to you everybody about aquaponics. So far I built everything out of ceramic tile, hollow tile, and we built a frame for our grow bed, everything like that. So this is kind of close to being hardcore. I'm not sure, but everybody might think I'm, we're crazy, but yeah, here it is. So this is what it we put these ceramic tiles on the hollow tiles like if you can see it's about two hollow tiles tall uh i'm about to grout this one probably tomorrow but um the this is basically the unit itself uh 700 gallons per hour uh sending it up um hard to aerate it uh what we got underneath is a uh, bell siphon I'll show you the bell siphon. So it goes, that's our um, you know, supply line, this is the return line, that's for the bell siphon. This is um, this is what we did for the ceramic pile. And now if you look at the top, here's the bell siphon. Um, it's about to hit its maximum uh, dumping point. It'll just flush out all the water from here. So we didn't put our plants yet. Um, we're doing a test run for it. Uh, this one is a three feet by eight feet grow bed, as you can see. Uh, we use about 10 feet of half inch PVC pipe. Um, I think in total, We probably could have spent about almost mm, 600 to 800 dollars just for the whole setup so yeah a bit of, on the hardcore side but um, we can actually raise at least 40 fish in this one including even koi to give more nutrients to the vegetables that we're about to grow so tomorrow we're gonna get the vegetables um, it's about to do it's um dumping thing so we'll wait for that it's very soon so yeah, it's about to come out right now so once it reaches its um maximum height for the the down pipe then it'll just basically suck out all the water from up in the grow bed and just dump it all over here in one flush. One long flush. Yeah, like I said, um, it's a bit hardcore. These are 2x6s, 4x4 posts. If you look at uh, how we did it, um, we actually framed the whole thing. Um, you can see it from underneath. So the 4x4 posts are the ones that support the stuff. We actually did a 4x4 going up straight across with a 2x4, um, making it into a, almost like a 2x6. I believe we even put a plexiglass spacer 
just to make up for that missing quarter inch so and so we put um uh, simpson pies in the inside as you can see and um, that's pretty much it so we we ran our um electrical on this side so if we ever need to actually add more water considering if there's rain or no rain um, this is our unit to supply water um, the electrical my dad pretty much did this so it's uh, weatherproof outdoor and as you can see a 700 gallon per hour pump down below and if you guys are asking what happens if it's overflowed with rainwater, um, we put an actual overflow outlet here just in case it, it rains a lot and it goes down to a, I guess you'd say a, what do you call this? A small little channel that we put going back towards the river in the backyard. So. This is our excess for the like, overflow, rainwater, whatever you call it, I think. So, and there you have it. And that's our um, regulator over there to how much um, our let's say aeration for the fish. And yeah, we can actually regulate how much water goes in here versus water going down there. So, yeah. so all we need is the plants if you can see it <laughs> or imagine it for that matter but this is this, this is pretty hardcore <laughs> yeah i'm about to put the grout in between the tiles so not to worry i mean i i, I built this thing with my dad my dad supplied all the the funding for this so I pretty much built it and yeah the reason why it's angled this way is because the house is angled also like that so they're pretty good thanks for watching